Kevin, first off, uh, welcome to Winnipeg. Uh, it, it, is this your first trip into Winnipeg, your first experience here in the city? Yeah, this is my first time, so. Yeah. Well, let's go back four or five days ago uh, in Vegas, uh, and you hear your name called. What kind of things are you thinking uh, <laughs> as soon as that happens? Yeah, I had no idea it was going to go, and when Winnipeg jumped up, I was pretty happy and pretty excited. So, you know, just hugged my family, hugged my agent, and, uh, yeah, it was a surreal moment. Yeah, you understand that you've got pretty good relationships with a couple of the guys, uh, one that was drafted and, uh, and another guy that's already part of the system? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, me and Kieran Walton played uh, played together growing up in minor hockey, so uh, we've always been you know best friends growing up. So uh, I was pretty pumped to see him come here as well. So. Yeah, and uh, I understand your hometown is the same as Zane Perex. Have you? Uh, Wilson, yeah. yeah, yeah. So have you spent a lot of time with him as well? Uh, not really. He kind of lives in the northern end, so I haven't seen him too much, but I've seen him here and there. Oh, so, so. the south side boys don't hang out with the north end. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you've been asked about this before, but we didn't get the chance to talk to you. So the significance of, uh, of, of where you were taken, 109th overall, and what that has meant over the last four or five days to you and your family now that you've had some time to think about that. Yeah, it was, you know, it was a huge honor, and I had all my family there at the draft, so... Um, some of them I haven't seen in a long time. I just saw my two nephews, one six months old and the other one's a year and a half. So I just got a, uh, the chance to meet them for the first time at the draft. So it means a lot to my family. And then your expectations coming into the camp and, and looking ahead to next year. Uh, what are some of the things on the Kevin He to-do list? Just go out there and compete and try to soak it all in. That's, uh, that's my goal coming in. Will Niagara be a better team next year? I know this year it was pretty tough sledding in the OHL. Absolutely, they will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, gear, a Mark Messier guarantee? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Kevin, what's with a camp like this, what's the, um, I guess, the goal? Uh, you probably want to come out and almost, you know, make a great impression, but it's summer hockey. A guy, maybe guys are rusty. Some guys haven't skated a whole lot. So what's the mindset of kind of what you're trying to do out there for this week? I just try to showcase my skills and, you know, like I said before, just compete. You know, I, I also haven't been on the ice in a little bit here, so I was trying to get my legs going. How important is kind of some of the off-ice stuff that we don't necessarily see in front of us, but, you know, whether it's bonding or some of the uh, the teaching that goes on? Yeah, it's a lot of stuff behind the scenes, but, you know, that's what really helps us get together and especially get to know the guys around, you know. Um, they're all coming all over the world, so I haven't played. Some of them i played against, some of them I haven't, so just getting to know everyone and, uh, yeah. What's your phone been like over the last few days just with the historical significance of being drafted? I uh, imagine you've gotten probably a lot of text messages and phone calls. Yeah, a lot of text messages and phone calls, yeah. But, yeah. Right on. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.